Hey, 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 giddy up, boy, giddy up. Here we go. <laughs> gallopy, gallopy, gallopy. <laughs> Bam! Okay, now Bam! ready? Over the jump we go. Oh, Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Way! Oh, oh. Gallopy, gallopy, gallopy. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. <laughs> the best cafe in the world. <laughs> Will you help me call out to Ben? Okay, then. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> ben! Oh, 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 dear. Are you all right, Ben? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm fine, Small. But look what's happened. Oh, this was my favourite horsey. I'm sorry, Ben, but it's a broom, not a horse. <laughs> oh, it's not just a broom, Small. You can use a broom as all sorts of things. And this was the perfect shape for a horsey. <laughs> We've got a customer. A customer should take your mind off your broken broom, Ben. Hey. And cheer you up. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm on my way! Woohoo! Who is it, Small? Who's come to our cafe today? Oh, you'll never guess, Ben! Oh, I might, if you give me a clue. Well, she's beautiful, and she's a princess now, but she never used to be a princess, and she once wore a glass slipper to a ball. Do you know who once wore a glass slipper to a ball? Is it Cinderella? Yes, it's Cinderella, Ben. I wonder what Cinderella would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. As you probably know, Cinderella lived with her two ugly sisters, who were very unkind to her. One day, the ugly sisters were invited to the prince's ball. Cinderella so wanted to go, but they shouted, No! You must stay in the kitchen and sweep. I was passing by the house, and I heard her crying, so I went in. Oh, cinders, whatever's the matter? I asked. My sisters have gone to the ball, but here I am, all alone with my broom, just sweeping. She banged her broom down on the floor, and suddenly there was a puff of smoke. Cinderella's fairy godmother stood before us and said, I am your fairy godmother. You will go to the ball. I will turn your rags into a beautiful gown, I will turn the pumpkin into a glittering coach, the two white mice into two white horses, the brown rat into a handsome coachman. And do you know what? She waved her wand and the spell worked. Apart from one thing, the brown rat had not turned into a handsome coachman. He was definitely still a big brown rat. Oh no, cried Cinderella. I have my gown. I have my coach, I have my horses, but who will drive me to the ball? That's when I had an idea. I climbed aboard the coach, grabbed hold of the horse's reins and shouted, Giddy up! And off we went! Cinderella danced and danced with the handsome prince and, as we all know, at midnight she had to run home before the spell was broken. The prince had to find her the only clue was the glass slipper she had left behind. When he found her, he asked for her hand in marriage. And Cinderella lived happily ever after. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, so that's how Cinderella became a princess. Hey! Yes, Ben. Lots of people know that story, but not many people know that it was me who drove her to the ball. Oh, oh, in a pumpkin too. A pumpkin that turned into a coach. Oh, I would have loved to have ridden one of the horses that drove the pumpkin coach. Oh, oh, giddy up, horsey, giddy up. Oh, oh, oh dearie me, I forgot that it had broken. <sighs> Don't worry about your broom, Ben. We need to work out what we're going to cook for Cinderella. Right, what to cook? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, we can cook! Oh. I 
know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Hey, hey, I don't believe it. Pumpkin pie, the perfect thing. That'll remind Cinderella of the pumpkin coach which you drove to the ball small. Brilliant! And perhaps it will remind her of the rather handsome coachman too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, small. No time to lose. Let's get going. OK, let's see. We're going to need brown sugar. OK. Over to the cupboard. Straight open. Brown sugar. Got it. A pastry case. Pastry case. One pastry case. Got that too, small. Treacle. Treacle. Oh, yes. Lovely and sticky. Treacle. Eggs. Eggs over in the fridge. Open it. There we are. Eggs. Double cream. Oh, double cream. There we go. Double cream. And a pumpkin. One pumpkin. Here we are. A big, fresh pumpkin. Brilliant. There we are. Whew. Do you know what, Small? I've never cooked a pumpkin before. Haven't you? No. Look at this one. It's huge. <laughs> it's nearly the size of Cinderella's coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Small, have you ever wondered how pumpkins grow? No, I haven't. But I can soon find out. Great. You is off and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back before you can say Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. What a beautiful day! Well, Charlie, have you got the seeds? Yes, here they are. They're going to plant some seeds. They're pumpkin seeds. Seeds are planted in the soil. This is called sowing the seeds. Now the seeds have to be covered over. They're hidden. Now all we need to do is water them. I'll do that. Water is very important because it helps the seeds grow. Cinderella had a pumpkin that turned into a beautiful carriage to take her to the ball. Wow, look at all these pumpkins. They've grown nice and big. I think I'll have that one. I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. <laughs> It's no good. Oh, I still can't mend it. And where's Small? He said he'd be back by the time I could say, Peter Porter popped a pimpkin. Oh, no, that's not right. Um, Pumper Potter popped a pipekin. Oh, Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey, I know all about pumpkins. They come from a seed that you grow. Oh, and here's the really, really big secret. They need loads of water so they can grow really big. Oh, hey, Small, do you think if I gave you loads and loads of water, you'd grow really big? <laughs> no, I'm small and small I'll stay. Hey, then let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in 
in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to pumpkin pie? You do. There was brown sugar, 100 grams, a pastry case, one, treacle, one tablespoon, eggs, two, double cream, one cup, and a pumpkin, a quarter, peeled and chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now you'll need to get your grown-up helper to do these first two jobs for you, because they're going to get hot, hot, hot. OK, turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. That's done. Now, I've already started to boil some pumpkin in a little water. Now we need to boil it for five minutes, till it's nice and soft. I'll set the timer for five minutes. I've drained the pumpkin through a colander, so pour it into a bowl, like that, and over we go. Hey, now next comes the fun part. Let's mash it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. That's right, Ben. Give it a good mash. Mashy, mashy, mashy. <laughs> mashy, mashy, mashy. Oh. Coming along a treat. Now we're going to break two eggs into a bowl. One. And two. Brilliant. And let's give them a good old whisk. Now I'm going to use a hand whisk, but you could use an electric whisk. Around and around. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, small. <laughs> oh, this is getting nice and frothy now. I better go and clean myself up. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, small. Right, next. We put the treacle. In it goes, all sticky. There we are. The sugar. And the cream into a saucepan. In it goes. Turn on the heat. And we need to heat it until it simmers. This means it bubbles nice and gently. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this job for you because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. OK, while we're waiting for it to simmer, I'm going to stir it nice and gently. There we go, my lady, and away we go. Uh, giddy up, 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 giddy up. There we go. That's just the job. So, turn off the heat, and over we go. Right, here we are. Now, this is another job for your grown-up helper to help you with. I'm going to very carefully pour the mixture into the whisked egg. In it goes. And then we can whisk it again. Round and round. Woohoo! Round and round it goes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Nearly there, my lady. Giddy up, giddy up. Oh no! Not again! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Now it's time to pour the mixture into the pumpkin. In it goes. Brilliant. And we give it one more stir with a wooden spoon. Round and round. Oh, yes. Nice and smooth. There we go. Now the next part is to pour the mixture into the pastry case. In it goes. That should be enough. And now it's just about ready to go in the oven. So, oven gloves on. 
and over we go. Here we are. Open the door and we can pop it into the preheated oven for 35 minutes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Whoa there, horsey. I'll set the timer for 35 minutes. There we go. Delicious. Cooked and cooled. So I'm just going to add some icing sugar for decoration. There we go. Great. Pumpkin pie. Perfect for my lady. <laughs> well, let's see if Cinderella likes it then. Here we go. One pumpkin pie coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Cinderella enjoyed her pumpkin pie. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My pumpkin pie was scrummy! <laughs> it reminded me of my glittering coach and the handsome coachman who drove it. Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> And to say thank you, here's a little present for Ben. I don't need it anymore, because since I married the prince, I don't have to do any sweeping. It's by the back door. What is it, Ben? Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, small! It's a brand new broom. It's Cinderella's broom. Hey, hey! And we all know a broom isn't just for sweeping, don't we? That's right, Ben. <laughs> giddy up, horsey. Giddy up. Good boy. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Giddy up, <laughs> giddy, giddy up. up. Whoa, Whoa there, there horsey. See you See soon. You soon. <laughs> hey. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe.